Mám tady vedle sebe hlavní hvězdu dnešní apokalypsy Adama Bayera, který je bohužel chudák nemocný. Dokonce včerejší hraní zrušil, dnes teda přijel, takže jsme rádi, že ho tady máme. Uh, hello Adam, so you are sick, you feel better today than yesterday? A little bit better, I think I'll be okay tonight, yes. Okay, Adam, you come from Sweden, so what is the best thing on your native country, in your point of view? Well, the best thing with Sweden is, I guess, it's a quite clean and nice country, good high standards. Um, friendly people and uh, be very beautiful. It's beautiful. I have never been there, so I not much people living there, so it's a lot of space, you know. In Sweden, it's also very famous dancing. There are many known DJs. So, what is so unique on uh, Swedish dancing? I think Sweden in general has a lot of music production because the actual scene in Sweden is not that big. We don't have so many clubs playing techno and stuff. Um, it's more like commercial, but. In general, there's a big music production going on. There's a lot of studios and there's a very good climate, I think, to produce music and to be, be creative. And you, Karel Lekebusch, uh, Joel Moore, Jesper Dahlbeck are very famous names of uh, Swedish techno scene. So what is typical of uh, Swedish techno? How sounds? Um, I mean, we've been doing this since I had my first record out in 93, so it's 15 years now. So, of course, it's changed over time, but I think the main point or the main core of the Swedish sound is um, we always had a very particular percussive sound that was quite driving and, and well produced, I would say. Um, but then, yeah, I mean, we all go through phases and we do different stuff, so. And how would you describe your own music style? What is your techno about? For me, it's just techno. Like, that's the best word I can say. I, I, I'm, I, I, these days, I'm doing more varied sets. It depends a bit where I play. Like, tonight, if I play a rave, I play a bit harder, obviously, more techno-oriented. But I also play more housey sets and tech houses stuff. That's why I'm asking, because uh, some weeks ago, you was awarded like the best minimal DJ. So many people are not so sure if you play really minimal. So are you the no, best was, minimal DJ? It was strange. I think the reason was there was six people nominated, and uh, you won. Yeah, and people. Yeah, and the other were minimal. But maybe my name was more famous, so people voted for me. But I was in the wrong category because I was I was uh, nominated in the minimal category. Maybe I should have been in techno and. And uh, Richie Horton actually won techno, and we were joking after, like we we should have switched place, you know. So, but it was strange. No one really knows. But on the other hand, if I would have been in the techno category, then maybe I wouldn't have won. So it was good. Adam Bayer do dnes představuje jednu z kůčích postav švédské taneční scény. Společně se jmény jako Kary Lekebuš, Joel Mull nebo Čespa Dalbeck přispěl k formování typického zvuku skandinávského techna. A jak z ní se můžete právě teď přesvědčit. 